Retail bandits strike again. This time, they targeted a Nordstrom at the Grove. Police say the rise in these types of crimes is a concern across the state. And our Cara Finstrom is live in the Fairfax district with what's being done to stop all this stealing. Cara, good morning. Good morning. LAPD Police Chief Michael Moore just said that about $15,000 worth of damage, Suzanne, was done to this Nordstrom's. That window that's all boarded up right now, it was shattered completely. Uh, and there was also about $5,000 worth of merchandise stolen. We spoke with locals here th this morning who say these types of smash and grabs are frightening and frustrating. It's not cheap to live in this city. And to worry for your safety, you know, something that's five blocks away from where I sleep, is uh, pretty pretty stressful. Peter Getty is talking about last night's smash and grab at the Grove. Investigators think someone took a sledgehammer to a Nordstrom window before a group of up to 20 people robbed the store. There's some merchandise on the ground there. Looks like maybe a bag. Sky 2 was overhead as the suspects took off in four different vehicles. One group led police on a freeway chase before running on foot through South LA. Ultimately, three suspects were taken into custody. Police say this SUV, believed to be theirs, was packed with new clothes and a cash register box. Yeah. Canine searched the area for other suspects. <laughs> An hour earlier, this South LA CVS was hit. Detectives think six suspects took a cash register and $8,500 and used force to get it. They're looking into whether the two crimes might be linked as investigators respond to a recent rash of smash and grabs across the state, including some in the San Francisco area. I have no empathy, no sympathy for these folks, and they must be held to account. Yesterday, the governor said the CHP will help patrol mall areas through the holidays, and a retail theft task force will work directly with local governments. Back at the Grove, as this window was boarded up, LAPD's police chief said his department will be working to ensure retailers and customers feel safe this holiday season. And we're giving you a live look here at one of the security cameras outside of Nordstrom's. Chief Michael Moore says a camera like this uh, at Nordstrom's helped them identify one of the suspects. He says all those arrested have criminal backgrounds, don't appear to be part of one organized group, and may be reacting to other similar crimes across the country. Suzanne?